going to be a beautiful day today. Clear skies today. I believe we've got to run up to Toulon. I grab some freight up there and bring it back for highway driver. I'm just going to swing past my dad's shop and pick up his trailer again. I guess I could have left the trailer at work, but I, I hadn't asked permission if I could. So I didn't want to just assume and leave the trailer there over the weekend and you know have it be in the way or something. I know that today we're getting part of our uh, parking pad where I park my pickup truck every day. We're getting it covered in gravel and packed nicely. So I have to park somewhere else and I'll have to figure out where I can park because I'll have the trailer with me during the day. Uh, just in case uh, if the motorcycle is ready, we're still waiting for it to get the front tire replaced. It's coming in from Ontario or something. Uh, being a little bit delayed, and that's okay. But today, tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, it should be ready. And I just want to have the trailer with me at work because it's it's getting the work done close by there so that after work, I can just quickly run there, pick it up, and trailer at home, right? It's gonna be a nice hot day. Not a cloud in the sky. And I need to take the sweater off already. Day hasn't even begun yet. I'll take it. I hope that the rest of the week is just as warm. I'm planning on riding in on all the nice days like this. So the more nice days we have, the better. Though I know we need rain every now and then. I hope we get more good days than rainy days, and I hope the rainy days make up for the abundance of good sunny days. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not a weatherman. Don't forget to hook the chains on. Just like when you're hauling the big trailer with the big truck, when you're hauling the smaller trailer with the smaller truck, the main goal is to not lose your trailer. So before you leave with the trailer, make sure you're not going to lose it. That could be embarrassing never happened to me yet but it's because I always make double triple quadruple sure it won't go on YouTube I'm sure there's plenty <laughs> plenty of of, uh, of options of videos to watch of people who uh, forgot to even check once can we just take a moment to appreciate the shine on that truck though bull snot Now that's the product. The product is bull snot. I've been using it on, using it on my pickup every uh, every weekend. I'm really liking it. You can find them at uh, any TA in the U.S. And any Bass Pro, any Cabela's. Uh, the logo looks like this. Okay, not an ad. Stuff just it, it really does work. And I'm part of the bull snot posse, so obviously I'm gonna bull snot my vehicle every weekend. You know what? I'm gonna run back there and what's the next one after quadruple? Because I've double checked it, I've triple checked it, I've quadruple checked it. What's the next one? I'm gonna go do that one. Quint, quint, triple, quint, quint, tuple. I'm gonna go make sure it's not gonna fall off. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think it's gonna fall off. Now we gotta slowly putt out of here. This is a gravel lot and I don't wanna get my truck all dusty.
getting some steps in this morning. I had to park on the other side of the lot because we're, uh, I was telling you before, they're redoing the lot where I usually park. So I, I did it on purpose so I have to walk to my truck. It's good for me. It's a nice day. I try to be outside as much as possible during it. Still got this here. It's Argo Sherp. This is one of the nice refurbished ones. Let's just make sure she's empty. Oh, there's a tire in here. Hello tire, what are you doing in here? Is that supposed to be here somewhere? Huh. I have to figure out what that's all about. Other than it just being a very dirty floor in here, looks like we're doing pretty good, which is good. I want to make sure that this, these uh, roll ties that are refurbished and new stay new and refurbished. I can't imagine how much money it must cost to redo one of these, but whatever the cost is, it's a lot. So it looks like it's been uh, doing pretty good. Oh yeah. We're ready to rock and roll, or roll a rock, or however you like to do it. Let's just make sure our trailer's not gonna fall off, okay? We're attached. Off to too long we go. So, my sister Rose just shared this really cool website with me. It's uh, mo sort of like a motorcycle challenge. It's called cannonballrides.ca. And it's Canada wide. Uh, and it has different routes and different uh, motorcycle ride challenges uh, for every province of Canada and across the whole country. And there's prizes and giveaways. Uh, I'll share the link down below in the description. Uh, if I forget to put it there, I'll do my best to remember, but it's cannonballrides, all one word, dot C-A. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to see if I can get the Manitoba ones done this summer. Who knows, maybe I can even get a few Ontario or Saskatchewan ones done as well, if, if, uh, if that works out. But yeah, they're like, there's a free bike giveaway. Uh, there's a free gear giveaway and you got to sort of prove that you did the routes it explains it all on the website if you guys are into motorcycle motorcycles and you live in Canada it's pretty cool I was pretty excited to hear about it I was glad my sister shared it with me it's sort of like that uh, remember those uh, the scenic points I wanted to go to and show you guys we can do that as well but now we also have a motorcycle challenge to do as well so there's like 250 mile trips, there's uh, 500 mile trips, there's a thousand, all the way up to 10,000 mile trips that you can do. Now you'll see it on the website if you're interested in it. Really cool and it gives you an excuse to get out there on the bike and uh, gives you places to go and see, it gives you ideas to go and see some scenic routes. Believe it or not, Manitoba has some scenery. There may not be much, but uh, there is some. And this one gives me the routes to take to go see the best of it. I'll take you with me, don't worry. You're gonna come with me on these. Hopefully I can get all the Manitoba ones done this summer. We'll see. It, it takes time to get these rides done. Like, let's see if I can convince my buddy Will to come out with his Harley and ride along with me. Or anyone else who wants to come with for that matter. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll try to organize something in the, the next couple of weeks. That'd be pretty cool. Great way to meet some of you guys, too, if you guys got motorcycles. Maybe we can get a whole, like, trucker Josh gang of bikers going on. <laughs> this 
guy doing? Hey! Your lane not big enough for you? <laughs> you see that? He wanted some of my lane too. All right, so this is Highway 59 here. Uh, that's south, so America's that way. The North Pole is that way. We're gonna try to get onto the northbound lanes here. I should probably turn on my signal. Uh, that would be the professional thing to do. And I am a professional. It says it on my badge, on my chest. Better live up to my title. here and then you see that guy coming in the far lane out there he's in the right lane so I'm going to take the left lane and put my hazards on just to remind everybody I'm moving slowly in the left lane just until he passes me there he goes I'll move over to the slow lane where I belong there you go we're officially on our way I usually put my hazards on. This is a 100 kilometer an hour highway, 60 miles an hour. I would always put my hazards on or my four-way flashers on if I'm traveling under or lower than 80 kilometers an hour, uh, which is 50 miles an hour. Or maybe even 70, you know, between like 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, or 70 and 80 kilometers an hour uh, on the highway. Just to let people coming up behind me know that something's going on I'm going slower than usual you know heads up hazard ahead like don't hit me please I don't, I don't think there's actually a written law except in the mountains when you're below a certain speed they want you to use your hazards but I always do it anyway just as a courtesy to the people coming up behind me I don't I don't want them you know you know how people are no one's paying attention and they should be yes it's the law that they should be yes but you know they're not all paying attention so I like to give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a helping hand be like hey pay attention don't hit me I really don't want to pull over and do all the paperwork are you all ready for it it's Monday morning about to go around our corner. I don't know where all the geese went to. They, they all moved on. I scared them away successfully. But it is time for our Monday song. Song of our people. There's the geese. He's got three little babies. I told you there was babies there. Roll a little bit of coal getting onto the highway here. There we go. So yeah, that goose uh, had a bunch of baby goose there. Baby geese. Told you they were raising babies in there. They're like massive chickens. You know how like a little baby chicken looks like? Like a little chick? Like a little yellow fluff ball? The geese are the same except they're uglier. Just, and bigger. Like big baby chickens. Until they turn into geese. And they are notorious for walking across the road. They don't fly. I mean, someone's got to tell them that they got wings because, you know, they can fly, but they decide to walk across the road. Don't even use the crosswalk. It's very rude. But anyone in Canada or anyone who knows the Canadian geese, that's, that's what they do. But hey, they did take the pond back from the ducks. Good for them. Good for them. Took back their territory. Last week we saw ducks in there. There must have been must be some kind of brawls going on in the evenings and weekends because I haven't seen them yet, but it keeps changing changing hands or changing feathers. We are here. Ready to pick up some stuff. I got a park right in the middle of that open area over there. 
The guys here are great. They'll get me loaded up real quick. He's a really friendly guy. too close that way because that's where they park their pickup trucks right in the middle so they can get at both sides equally and evenly and then they load my trailer from the side once I pull the curtain back am I straight I don't feel like I'm straight ah, straight enough a little further a little further all right, there we go, there we go. They already saw me pull in, so they'll be ready for me soon. In the meantime, we can open up the trailer. Yes. yes. Still not a cloud in the sky. Look at that. What a day. What a nice day. What a good day. Before I can undo this, I have to loosen up the tension at the back though. I've shown you this before, right? I should probably get my gloves. The gloves aren't really to protect my hands. It's not really that hard of work. The gloves are just to keep the dirt off my hands uh, so that the dirt doesn't transfer from my hands to my steering wheel and get my steering wheel all dirty. Then I have to clean it. Unacceptable. So we use gloves. Like usual, they're super quick here. Almost too fast. No time to get comfy. <laughs> Got this little uh, little roller stop in here. Very high tech. Very high tech. You just uh, put it down there where it belongs, and your roller shut. Grab this, and here we go. Almost there. There we go. And this is going to Houston, Texas. New Liberia, no, New Iberia, Louisiana, and Alexandria, Louisiana. A long road ahead. Crank up that AC. and six dollars for 83 liters Yikes. and that's every week 83 liters just a couple of months ago cost 83 dollars crazy everything's going up everything's going up that's the real world for you. This is real reality TV. Everything's going up. Good news though, I got a Slurpee. Where are you going? Where are you going? You were running away from me a second ago. I didn't do my hair. I don't want to be on the vlog. My hair is awful. Oh, look, a pebble. So it's a very nice pebble. Stop it, stop filming me. Stop it. Stop it! 
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You've been acting super playful today. What do you want? What do you want? Your phone dinged. Leave me alone. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Chevy, get up! Get up! Diesel, let him get up. Go get him! Careful for Wiener. Did he take your stick? Is that what this fight's all about? He took your best wine. You won't share it. Chevy. Chevy, show me your stick. Show me your stick. Is that the best one? Diesel, you want that stick? You want it? Go get it. Go get it. Get him. Too old for this, man. Too old for this. I just get a different stick. Oh. He's tempting you. He's teasing you, Diesel. Laying down right in front of you. You get him. Get him. No? <laughs> hey, Chevy, can I have your stick? Can I have your stick? Can I have your stick? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, Diesel got it this time. <laughs> Chevy's mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chevy. I thought you were going to get it. I didn't mean to take it away and give it to Diesel. Oh, boy. Neither of you should have this. You're gonna get splinters. Here. No? Come here. Come here. So looking at the sky right now, I want to give you a couple of seconds to guess what time it is. What time does it look like to you? It's 10 o'clock at night. Or I guess we'd call that 10 o'clock at night day, day night. What is it today? Is it the 14th when I'm filming this? So that means in 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, exactly one week from when I'm filming this. On the 21st is the longest daylight hour day of the year. So another week of the day is getting longer. It's 10 o'clock. I was going to be in bed at 8 o'clock today. Oh, I'm looking outside. I'm like, oh, the sun's still shining. It's still early. I go and look at the clock just now. 10 o'clock. So I'm letting the dogs out for their, for their nightly outdoor walk. <laughs> I don't even have to turn on the, the yard lights. Look at this, the sensor lights and I am coming on. I know every year it surprises me. I'm 33 years old and every single summer I'm just like, wow. The difference in seasons here in Canada is crazy. Because in exactly six months on the winter solstice, it's gonna be exactly the opposite, remember? The sun sets at like four o'clock in the afternoon. Feels like it anyway. This is why this is my favorite month because the daylight hours are so long and everything's green. Especially my yard. Uh, my yard's pretty green. Which is, uh, not, not, not every yard is as green. <laughs> I got greener grass. Chevy, what do you got over here? I mean, their grass is fuller though, and healthier. Ours is part weed, part dirt, but it's green. <laughs> it's not the healthiest. That's okay, it's okay. Diesel, you guys done? What do you think, can we go inside now? Oh, what a bed, man. The sun is barely gonna dip below the horizon back there and it's going to be time to get back up again so thanks for watching today guys it was a lot of fun 
hope to hang out with you again tomorrow if you're new here welcome hit that subscribe button we make videos all the time hit the like button before you leave if you liked it and i'll see you tomorrow